Welcome back to the now. Thanks for tuning in again. As I omitted yesterday's post, because <laughs> I was chilling in nature and having a great time with my puppies, my mascots, I am this evening giving you a round two, just like the day prior to yesterday, I kind of gave you two posts. So that's me making amends and staying on track with my positive habits and good routines. And I mean, I'm constantly looking to source inspiration from the world around and inside of me. So this is my way of sharing it with you. Um, the inspiration that I want to share with you in the now is a quote that I found on Pinterest. So very simple, very straightforward. And so here it goes. I hope you know that giving your all doesn't mean you have to have it all together. Sometimes giving your all is a small, sweet rebellion to the lies that you've told yourself that you're not good enough, that you'll never be enough. Because giving your all, giving your all, let's try that one again, <laughs> is showing up as your true self and being content if your all doesn't look like anyone else's. We are unique individuals, just like snowflakes or grains of sand. We all have our own resonance and we're constantly evolving so that it is in and of itself shifting. So your all today might not be your all tomorrow and it might not be the same all that you would have later. And that brings me into a very, very important point that is uh, delved upon in the book that I'm currently trying to find, but I believe it's out of the room, um, Sacred Powers. And Sacred Powers basically just states that in order to create a shift and be able to go into a rebirth, whether it's energetically in physical terms, in mental terms, superficially, or at a deeper level. Um, David G. states that you, we need to cultivate acceptance. And that acceptance is a kind of three-part format. The first of which being that we need to accept everything that's come to be until now everything we've done, all the choices we've made, whether we've labeled them as good choices or bad choices, just accept it all so that you can then let it go in a way. The second point of acceptance that David G talks about, references, is the mere fact that those choices that you made in those moments were perfect as they came from you and they were a perfect expression of your consciousness in that moment but your consciousness shifts so that brings me into this now loop of my whole post where even though you don't feel like you might have given it your all you did you gave it your all in that moment under those circumstances you did the best that you could with that conscious awareness and so Tying this into the thought of, I wish I had known certain things years ago and then where I would be now if I had known those things and integrate, integrated them. I could very easily tell you that had I had all of this information that I've sourced out of different books and out of experience in my life, also listening to other people's experiences and being mindful, being present, I could have been influencing or inspiring so many others uh, in a, an easier way or that my life would be more balanced, whatnot. And I've spoken of this before. I'm speaking of it again, and I will definitely bring it up in another now because it's very important for us to grasp that it's perfect. It arrives at the just time. It arrives at the just time and had you received this information years ago, probably wouldn't have tickled you in the same way, wouldn't have sparked the same action, the same reaction, or whatever it is you want to call it. 
So just give it your all in a nutshell. It's as simple as that. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. I will definitely be back for more. In the meanwhile, if you want to come find me tomorrow, the 18th of August, 2019, I will be teaching four practices at Asha Yoga Laval next to Place Belle in Laval, uh, exit Corbusier off of Highway 15, whether you're going south or north, doesn't really matter. We are in Quartier Laval, or the studio in and of itself is in Quartier Laval, next to Dollarama and a currently empty lot or not lot, but like store or storefront that's shifting into something else. Who knows what will happen there? I will be at Asha Yoga Laval teaching tomorrow morning, 8.30 a.m., a 60-minute foundations practice. Do come in earlier if you want to join so that you can shift into your practice effortlessly, stress-free. I'm teaching a 90-minute flow practice starting at 10 a.m., Again, feel free to show up as soon as 9.30 a.m. I'll also be teaching a foundation 75-minute practice tomorrow at Asha Yoga Laval, 5 p.m., and then a recharge at 7 p.m. Recharge being a kind of a nice balanced practice where we're integrating foundation shapes, um, vinyasa flows with restorative holds, so yin-like it could be anything from bridge, wheel, well, maybe not wheel, but like bridge, butterfly, pigeon, and a whole array of shapes that you hold for an extended period of time that will give you either energy or help you relax or help you release, pent up emotions, whatever the case is for you. You get to choose. So thanks. Thanks for giving me all of your attention right now. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks in ahead, in ahead. <laughs> Thanks in advance for liking, sharing, subscribing, and being you. Keep being you, all of you. Accept, accept everything you've gone through. Accept what is now. Tell the world, tell yourself, tell the universe that you accept whatever it is that's coming your way and in your mind's eye, make the object of your mind's attention, the now, and all your greatness right now. Catch you guys real soon. Peace out. Keep shining bright.